Today, the judge in former President Donald Trump's federal election subversion case making it known she's not considering the 2024 presidential election or Trump's campaign schedule in deciding next steps in the case. In the first hearing since the Supreme Court's immunity ruling, Judge Tanya Chutkin pushed back against Trump's legal team, saying the November election is not relevant as she decides how the case will move forward. CNN senior crime and justice reporter Caitlin Polance is live outside the federal courthouse for us here in Washington. Caitlin, what more did we learn from today's hearing? Well, Boris, it was uh, quite a zippy hearing for about an hour and 15 minutes. Judge Tanya Chuckin went back and forth primarily with Donald Trump's defense lawyer, John Laura, who's trying to put things on hold as long as he can to, to make things last a long time so that they can do legal arguments, gather their information, look at things. But inside this building in Judge Chutkin's courtroom, the election just is not playing a role for Donald Trump as a criminal defendant. A quote from the judge, I'm not talking about the presidency of the United States. I'm talking about the four corners of the indictment. Yet, they still have to talk about the presidency because in this case, they have to figure out what to do with presidential immunity and how it applies here to Donald Trump after the election, especially in his exchanges with the then Vice President Mike Pence. And the Justice Department is prepared in just a couple weeks to start laying out evidence if the judge wants it then to put in papers, grand jury transcripts, interview records, uh, documents, FBI memos, all kinds of pieces of evidence we've never seen before that aren't even mentioned in the indictment. They're ready to go if that's what the judge wants to do next. So Caitlin, what are we anticipating is going to be the next shoe to drop? What comes next? Well, today even, we could have Judge Tanya Chutkin's decision on what the schedule is going forward and when the Justice Department could potentially be laying out this evidence uh, that they say they have ready to share and make public to a certain extent. The thing, though, that we don't have at this time is a trial date. The judge is pretty clear she's not going to set one at this time because everybody in this case agrees, Boris, there's going to be at least one more round of appeals that's going to put everything on hold. Caitlin Polance live outside the federal courthouse. Thank you so much. Let's discuss 